Hi, it's me, Boon. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. And I know that it has been 300 years since my last video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I went on a vacation with my friends to Thailand in April. And I must say, Thailand is so beautiful. The islands, the landscape and the food is just amazing. But quite spicy though. <laughs> And right after that, I went back to my hometown to celebrate Harvest Festival here in Borneo which is held annually. So I get to be with my family for a while and it was a lot of fun. That's it for the introduction, let's start with our project. As you can tell from the thumbnail, we will be making Morticia Adams and the best doll for this project will be Spectra from Monster High. We'll start by cutting off all of her original hair and then removing the remaining hair through the neck hole after letting it sit in hot water for a while. The hot water will also make the head become soft so that it is easy for us to pull off the head. I have also shrunken her head using acetone method as you can see here. Because the neck hole is now smaller, we need to either drill the neck hole larger or grind the neck to make it smaller. I initially sculpted her chest to make it bigger, but then I realized that it looked disproportionate with the rest of her body, so I changed my plan. <laughs> I ordered a new body online and I believe this belongs to Mizzy doll if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong but look at those nails. It also came with a pair of high heels so we're definitely gonna use this. This doll body actually fits Barbie doll quite well, I mean the head. So we're going to use Barbie's neck hole as a guide. Here I'm just doing some quick tests to see how the body will fit the head. Perfect! Now we'll set it aside for now and move on to the dress. I created this pattern myself and for this dress, the pattern making was painstaking. <laughs> the construction of this dress is going to be simple because we are not going to do any lining. Oh, this is a mermaid dress by the way. We begin by sewing the front pieces together and repeat the same step for the back pieces. Once that done, we will join all the pieces at the shoulder seam. And then the sleeves. Then we connect the front and back pieces at the side seams. And also don't forget to hem all the edges of the fabric like around the sleeves and also at the end of the skirt. 
Then we connect the back pieces at the center while leaving enough room for the doll to slide through. Finally, we add the snap button or in my case here is Velcro and the dress is done. Moving on to the face up, we'll begin by wiping off her factory paint using acetone, clean them up using soapy water, and once it's dry, we'll apply our first coat of sealant. The doll body has a slight flesh tone to it, so we'll color her head to match the body using soft pastel. After the soft pastel application, I noticed that her eye molds are so protruding, so I decided to sand it down flat and start again. As you can see here, I am using thread as a grid line to sketch out the eyes because I always struggle with symmetry when it comes to doll repaint and this method is kind of try and error thing but it kind of work at least for me. <laughs> Just some tip on drawing the eyes, I always start by drawing the pupil first and by doing this will help to avoid the eyes looking wonky.
For this face up, I am using Prisma Color Pencil for eyes and lining out the lips and then Soft Pastel for the shading and highlighting. For the eyebrows, I am using soft pastel to roughly draw the shape and then reshaping them using eraser. Keep on layering the colors in between sealant until we reach the opacity that we like and the sealant that I'm using here is Mr. Super Clear Sealant. I like to use watercolor for little details like on the on the eyebrows and the lashes. It just gives a very crisp and sharp look to them. For the last step in this face up, we will give the eyes some catch light and also gloss the lips and the face up is done. Moving on to the hair, we will be using these alpaca fibers but first we are going to dye them black using human hair dye.
next step is to make hair webs by gluing the fibers using PBA or latex glue. Here I am painting the scalp using black acrylic paint so that any bald spot will not peek through. Organic fibers like in this case alpaca hair is very fluffy so let's try our best not to put too much hair layer. I usually apply the webs sparsely at the back and gradually closer at the top to achieve a more realistic feel to it. For the part line, we will glue the weft on the opposite side and once it's dry, flip them over and repeat the same process for the other side. I really like to use Uhu glue for this process because it's very strong and also it dries fast. Finally, we will curl the hair using metal chopstick and apply heat using flat iron. I'm just giving her curls just at the bottom part of the hair and set it with some hairspray. Her body will mostly be covered but I'm going to blush the body anyway just so it won't look unfinished.
yes, I'm so excited about this. I'm going to color her nails using red acrylic paint and also gloss it using the same gloss that I applied on her lips. Ah, oh, look at that, so pretty! <laughs> At the very last minute, I decided to add some lace and rhinestones to her dress so that it won't look too plain. And with that, Morticia Adams is complete! Thanks everyone for watching, have a nice day and see you again in the next video, bye!